Hello folks, today we're making the most popular Thai party dish. We're making Mukata. Here are the ingredients. Bacon as well as beef or pork steak. Chicken breast. Coriander, coriander root and Thai basil. Spring onions, lime and chilies. Green pepper, lemongrass and even more chilies. Mushrooms, either shiitake or something similar. Garlic, ginger, galangal, and you can guess more chilies. Shrimps. Carrots and corn. Pak choy. Dark soy sauce and marine. Coconut milk. Rice noodles, Nampla fish sauce, Hot Pot Mokata Barbecue Grill. We personally recommend the Tom Young Hot Pot Thai Barbecue Grill. Different from most of the competitors, this grill works with electricity, not with coal. With the set there comes a Mukata sauce. We start with cutting the chicken. Cut into around 1 cm 6 slices. Now we need a mortar or another tool for pounding. Put 3 to 4 cloves of garlic inside. We also recommend you to add peppercorns. Then add cut coriander root. Now we have to mortar everything. As long as we will get a fine paste. Give everything. Now you can still add some black pepper. And this is how the result should look. Next we need a bigger empty bowl. Put half of the just finished paste inside. Then we add soy sauce. 
and two tablespoons rice vinegar. Now there comes the coconut milk. Mix the coconut milk with the other ingredients. Now we add, depending on personal preference, more or less nampla fish sauce. Maybe we still need a bit more soy sauce for more intense color and taste. Now you can add the cut chicken inside. Massage the chicken well. Fill a part of the soy sauce into a smaller bowl. There we put the shrimps inside. Now we continue with the beef. We add our coriander, chili, lemongrass, garlic paste. Also add soy sauce and 1 tablespoon nampla for marinating. For the special freshness also use some diced ginger. Mix everything well. Now it's time for our satay style chicken. Crush the peanuts with a mortar. And add them as well. Mix the peanuts with the chicken and the coconut milk. Also add a pinch of curcuma. Next add one teaspoon from the paste. And don't forget to stir around. Cut the pad choy along sideways. Cut the carrots lengthways into sticks. Cut the spring onions into rings. Then cut carefully the lemongrass. Time for the main Thai dishes ingredient, chilies. Now we can finally fill in the broth into our mokata grill. Add the left herbs and spices into the broth. Add around one third of the spring onion rings. We also recommend you to add corn pieces. Next add the lemongrass. Now we can put the mushrooms inside the hot pot. As well as the carrots. When the grill area is hot enough, put the bacon on it first. Thanks to the bacon, you will get enough fat onto the surface of the grill area. Let's 
the mother broth. Add the rice noodles. We recommend you also to put some corn pieces onto the grill area. Here you see the rest of our ingredients. Salt and like a boss. Always keep an eye on the heat. For the crispiness we advise you to turn the corn around. Depending on your taste, you can still add coriander to your soup. Now we can also put the shrimps onto our grill area. Personally prefer to add only small amounts of meat but therefore a lot of vegetables. Be aware to constantly turn around the food on the grill area so that it won't get burnt. For drinking we recommend some original Thai beer, our favorite one is Chang. Feast for the eyes and palate.